Do you want it enough to do more in the next 10 days than you have ever done before? Because if we do not want it that much, we do not deserve it. I could tell you a lot about myself at this point. I think some of you know from last year and other things. I grew up in a humble way in the country. I have been blessed to live the American dream. This is why I'm running for governor. This is what I want for Kentuckians. I'm married, I have nine children. I'm a military veteran. One and a half million of our fellow citizens from the beginning of this nation have given their lives in uniform to afford us the luxury to go to the ballot box in peace, to pass our opinion on a piece of paper into the system in the same way that everyone else does, and yet less than 20% of us will do it. Shame on us. Shame on us. So how badly do we want it? It is the fact that I am a father of nine, the fact that I am a military veteran, the fact that I am a small business owner, and that I employ dozens and dozens of people, and every day I make payroll to help people pursue their own American dream. This is why I'm running. I'm running for governor because I believe we can be better, that we are better, that we deserve better than this sordidness that has descended upon us, not just in this election, but in election after election. I'm tired of Kentucky being the example of what's wrong with politics in America today. I'm weary of it. And if you're weary of it, I would ask you to think, what are you going to do about it? Let me close with this. I pray for my children for two things, very specific things, that I pray for them on a repeated basis. I pray that they will have wisdom. Because we live in a world where we're telling young people that up is down and inches out and right is wrong. And we're sending a lot of mixed messages. And I pray that my children will have the discernment to know the right thing to do. But additionally, I pray that they will have the wisdom to then do it. Because we live in a world where an amazing number of us understand what needs to be done, but far too few of us have the courage, the intestinal fortitude that was this nation was founded on, that this state was forced from the wilderness by, too few of us have the courage to actually do the right thing. And so my prayer for each of you is the same, that you will have in this race the discernment, the wisdom to decide which of the four of us is the one to lead Kentucky forward. We are blessed with choices and good ones, any which of whom is any one of whom is better than Jack Broadway, no question about it. But the question is,